get this and go like that. Even with, I'm gonna make the noise. Okay. Coming up later in this video. Don't hold your breath, don't hold your breath, don't hold your breath. No, 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 we're not doing that again. But first. Oh, I need. Swiping medium. Almost forgot the swiping medium. Hello, everyone. My name's Katobi, and uh, thank you for joining me for today's painting. Just gonna pop on my gloves. Today's a beautiful one. I have 17 different colors. Black's not a color, so it doesn't count. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've also got black swipe. Uh, this will be done on a black base. It's going to be gorgeous. So um, the colors are red, orange, 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 gold, <laughs> um, sunflower, fluoro yellow or canary fluoro yellow, the world's yellowest yellow, the world's greenest green, a blue that I've mixed up that has a bit of the world's bluest blue in it, but not very much. So don't, don't, don't credit me on that one. The deep blue, the ultramarine, the purple, then I've made a deep pink using red and blue. Uh, so that's got micro in it. So that's, that's a purple, sorry, um, deep pink. Then we have a pink, which has a whole bunch of different pinks in it. Um, even the world's most pinkest pink. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Plus the base. Uh, colours that's going to go into this. And what do I intend to do? I intend to get this and go like that. Even with, I'm going to make the noise. Okay. The noise is really important. Um... And yeah, so this is most of the colors I've been using over the last few uh, streams. Um, some are thinner than others. Uh, I'm still experimenting. I, I want to learn more about the fluid dynamics that goes into uh, the art uh, before I settle on just one or multiple different recipes. Um, yeah, so I can't really tell you. You can tell I've been cleaning my nozzles because of the, uh, the color there. Um, I'm almost ready to get started. So we're going to flood the base. But before we do, I've got something I need to do first. Dip, 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 dip. Well, that's a good one. All right, now that that's done. Let's go. All right, let's start with red. I don't know how much is in any of these, so I'm just gonna go for it. Wiping the tips as we go. I'm gonna move them forward a little bit. Some have mica in it, this one has mica. Some might run out while I'm going. This is a, an experiment. What, what mica powders do these have? Number six. This has number six mica powder. If you want to know what number six is, uh, in the description and probably at the end of the video, uh, there might even be a card on screen right now. Uh, there'll be a link to how I mix my mica powder video. You can find out what the numbers mean. This is the world's orangest orange. Look how vibrant that orange is. Uh, this is an orange that I just made up. 
it's got gold in it and orange. Well, that's gonna be a very interesting band seeing those two kiss each other. Of course, gold. I'm gonna to have to straighten this uh, line up a little bit, I think. I'm gonna just try and bring that down there a little bit. And to the end. Yep, there we go. Um, this is not inspired by anybody. It's just, I knew that after I'd done so many paintings, I would have lots and lots of colors. And I knew I wanted to see what all those colors look like on the canvas. these two look relatively similar. Now this one has, this yellow has mica 3 and 17 in it. This is fluoro yellow. Lots of yellow. Oops, trying to drown out the brown. That one's very, very uh, wet. The world's most uh, yellowest yellow. I don't think I've got much of that in here. <gasps> Hang on. That's why you've got to clean your tips as you go. Got a dirty tip, folks. Got a tip for you. It's dirty. Okay, there we go. Uh, remember to look twice when crossing the road. There is so many bubbles in that. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Okay. Oh, you're just putting so much loveliness everywhere. Oh, gosh. Okay, just, um, mm, okay. There we go. Oh dear. Well, that one's expelled. Probably gonna <laughs> suffer the same fate with the green. I'm running out of space here. So this is the world's greenest green. This is a blue that I've mixed up with. It has some of the world's bluest blue in it, but a whole bunch of other blue. nice and thick. Not so bad. Uh, this is a deep blue with mica 19 and then mica 29 to 20, uh, 32. That's going to be very pretty. Then we just have ultramarine. He's not just any marine, he's an ultramarine. That's the sound that you make when you're ultramarine. Not that I'd actually know. <laughs> ultramarine, ultramarine. Uh, then we've got violet. Wow. Now there's a reason why I decided to go from dark and then to light again. Uh, this is a random purple color I've made, which is very pretty. I think it's got some of the micas in it as well. Wow, that one's vibrant. I made that myself. Uh, this pink color I also made myself. Oh, 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 folks, we're almost there. This is pretty. And then we've got pink. I think this is actually fluoro pink. Oh, it's gonna run out. It's gonna run out. Didn't. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, oh, that is so pretty. All right. So this is my swipe black. And it gets a healthy run. Thought I might need to make up some more of that, but that is all I wanted to use there. So I'm happy about that. Okay. Um, not gonna lie, a little bit nervous. 
Don't hold your breath, don't hold your breath, don't hold your breath. Gosh, that's pretty. Oh, whoa, 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 hold the fort. Is this gonna cause grief? No. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Bubbles be gone. seen some people use heat guns on theirs. I am considering giving that a go. Okay. Whew. Now, don't hold your breath, don't hold your breath, don't hold your breath. Make sure there's no cat hairs on this. So this was actually part of a, um, a chili. I got whole bunches of chilies, um, chili sauces. And I was like, oh, that piece of plastic's perfect. Now I could go that way, see? It's actually the perfect length, but I'm going to go this way. Make sure it kisses down. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We're not doing that again. Just give me a moment. Put some more on that edge there. That was not going to go the way I wanted it to. We've had that problem before. Give me a moment, folks. Don't mind me, just chat amongst yourselves. So, how was your weekend? Oh, that's nice. Did you get up too much? Really? Yes, me too. I um, also did the same. Um, I, I did, yes. I, I can't believe it either. I mean, the fact that she's marrying him, oh, unbelievable. So, back to it. Hi! Thanks for waiting around. Don't mind me. I'm going to have to wet the towel and pull. That's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, so, I need the water. Please talk amongst yourselves. It's fine. I don't want this to fail. So I just wet the paper towel and then wrung it out. I don't know if this is how you meant to do this. Um, clearly. But I hope it is. It's about half. Please don't drag like that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It feels good here. Okay, okay. Chuck that away. Uh, I'm just gonna go back in. You guys enjoy the lovely spectacle of those patterns forming. But still, I, I cannot believe she's marrying him. Can you? I mean, really. I thought uh, he was from better stock than that. I am going to stretch this out. I think the trick is not to let the paper towel go right over the edge. Like that. Okay, here we go. Really slow it down. Okay. That is pretty though. Uh, I'm gonna give that a moment. That's not good. Okay, I will take any of your suggestions as to why that plastic didn't work for me. Please leave comments in the comment section. 
Okay, that's cool. Oh, my hands. Just drying them off. I have a towel for painting, a painting towel. I'll try and just. Uh, Necessary. Let's be honest. <laughs> okay, let's do stretching. It's going to be very interesting to see how it looks when it dries. Me being me, I want to see how these turn out. You know what though, that is not unpretty. I just wish some of the other colours came through. I mean, there's some beautiful gradients throughout it. Awesome contour lines. Some cells. I wasn't expecting lacing. Oh yeah, I can definitely see the mica throw out. Ooh, okay, that makes it pop in areas. Talking of popping. Tell you what, that green popping into the red and then having the, the orange around it is actually quite delightful. The swipe has really only landed here. So I don't think I had enough swipe up the top. I probably should have flooded here instead. All swipe here. Definitely shouldn't have let the cloth go over the edge. I'm going to be reviewing this footage uh, myself, but I can, uh, I mean, it's so pretty. I've seen book covers like, you know, that manufacturers have made and always thought to myself, wow, that's so pretty. I wish I could do something like that. And I have, and I'm like, ah, it's not what I wanted. But really, I am not complaining. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we need a little bit of something back over here to get that edge where I've been touching. And there, fully enough, same color. And another finger in the black. Now what you don't see is I um, actually get a paddle pop stick um, and take to the very base around my paintings so they don't pull so the paint doesn't pull not pull as in p-o-l-l -L, but also yes uh, but pull p-u-l-l so pull pull um, and pull the composition away oh, i love that coloring through there all right i think my hands are dry i'm going to bring you in to see what it looks like now thank you for getting to this portion of the video uh what do i need to tell you the next time you see this piece it'll be completely dry and then after that it'll be lacquered you thought I was going to say varnished. I didn't. I thought I was going to say varnished. There's like a toffee apple feel. I, do, I actually really like this. Like I said, it's not what I was going for. But I do actually love it. It is a real explosion of colour. Can't wait to show you the super, super close up. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you in a few moments once this is dry and uh, varnished. I nearly said lack it again. Gosh dang it. <laughs> and with this, we conclude season two. It's been an awesome season. It was a creative season and I enjoyed it so much. It was the very first season that I deliberately recorded for YouTube. And I think it shows that I've been trying to do my very best to present um, my artworks and the content as clearly and concisely as I possibly can. Um, season three, so this is the next season after this one, because this is two, three, you know, three is one more than two. Season three will be 
Dutch pouring. Whole thing Dutch pouring. So look forward to that. And spoilers, season four is, if you don't want to know, block your ears. I'll do this when it's time to listen again, okay? Season four will be swipes. Okay, you're back? Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, there's a, there's a little spoiler. We, when I say we, I don't just mean me, I mean other people who have viewed this lovely piece of work, um, have all decided it looks like a moth or an owl. It definitely doesn't look like a phoenix. I thought it originally looked like a phoenix, but for some reason, every time I see something that looks like a phoenix, it's missing a head. So, um, sorry phoenixes, I, I know you don't actually look that way. Uh, so if you want to see where the owl is, it's got little owl ears here. You know how they have those owl ears? It's more like, I don't know, eyebrows or something. Owls are weird creatures. So there you got, yeah, it's a little owl head, then his wingspan or her wingspan, and then feathers. It's like, yeah, lovely. It shines beautifully in the sun. The amount of mica in this is outstanding. Yeah, you've got to see it outside. So if you're ever in the area, you know, let me know, make a cup of coffee. You can come outside and check out my painting. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I was honestly a little bit disappointed once I did the, the swipe over and I'm like, ah, oh, that's not what I was expecting. And then it just took a couple of seconds to register. This looks so much like this gorgeous cover as a kid my mum had in a book. I uh, saw a cover in, inside of, of the book. Instead of just being white pages, it was this. It was this this here, mostly this here. And it was gorgeous. It actually did have a bit of that, but a bit more blue. And when I realized that, especially this part too, this is very, very indicative of what was in that book. I was just like, oh my gosh, I made that book like that I loved as a child, the cover, um, the inside cover. Uh, they don't make books, not many of them like that anymore. So yeah, I was, I'll, I'll, it's gorgeous. I love this. And the, um, the lacing up here too is just wonderful. So we might revisit this one in the future. Make up a whole bunch of colors again, give it a go. What do you reckon? Yeah. Because this is the end of season two, next video will be a retrospective, a, a look back uh, at three paintings that I enjoyed doing and one I didn't. Hmm. Okay, so you'll have to watch next week to see that. Then I'm gonna have a week break just so I can organize myself uh, and then you'll get more videos. You'll get season three. Uh, season two has been turned into a season playlist. Uh, season one has also been turned into a season playlist so you can go and check those out. And of course, if you want to see how the videos have come out since I first started doing them, go back and watch Pink Lightning and see if that looks any different to the production value of this one. I haven't named this yet, I'm gonna have to. Mother's Moth? Mother's, mother's owl? Binder owl? I don't know. What's in the description? You'll have to tell me. You know, I don't know yet, but you know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
hope that others know I'd like to see them flourish in a way they didn't know To meet the world with kindness Out of reach, get dirty But I'm just not sure I hope that others know I'd like to see them flourish in a way they didn't know To meet the world with kindness I hope that others know I'd like to see them flourish in a way they didn't know To meet the world with kindness I've spent some time there in the forest below The color of the darkness Is shifting in my room She's growing up without me In a forest of her own The color of the darkness Is shifting in my room She's growing up without me In a forest of her own The color of the darkness Is shifting in my room She's growing up without me in a forest of her own. The winter of redemption has come and it has gone. I think it's time to grow up and face the day head on.